breaking overnight tragedy on the highway when semis collide. Sadly, two people would not survive. Officials say one of the trucks was carrying concrete barriers. This morning, investigators still trying to figure out exactly how this happened. A deadly drive on I-75 killing a recent high school graduate and another man. The chain reaction crash launching vehicles a quarter of a mile down the interstate. This highway horror stunning students and administrators at the 17-year-old school. Seven's Lorena Estrada is live at Memorial Regional Hospital in Hollywood this noon where an injured survivor is still being cared for. Lorena? We've, uh, there were four vehicles involved in this tragic crash, and we've learned that 25-year-old Patricia Roll was a passenger in one of those vehicles. She is currently recovering here at the hospital, but two people, a 29-year-old man and a 17-year-old recent high school grad, would not survive. Two young lives full of promise came to a horrifying end Thursday night when a tractor trailer hauling concrete barriers drove onto Interstate 75, causing a violent chain reaction crash. Killed instantly were 17-year-old Lisa Angulo, who graduated earlier this month from American Heritage High School in Plantation, and 29-year-old Jonathan Raymond Astafan, a third-year medical student about to begin a clinical rotation in New York. But everything would change Thursday night in a deadly chain reaction crash that killed the 17-year-old and 29-year-old Jonathan Astafan, also of Miramar. It happened just after 11.30 p.m., FHP says a tractor trailer carrying temporary concrete barrier walls was leaving a construction site and entering the southbound lanes at Pines Boulevard when it was struck by this Mitsubishi. As it entered the southbound lanes, the first car, a Mitsubishi, struck the, the side of the trailer, went underneath the trailer and continued southbound on I-75 where it ran off the road. The tractor trailer was carrying temporary concrete barrier walls. When Jonathan Astefan hit the side of the trailer, his Mitsubishi going under the tractor trailer, slicing the roof off of his car. Astefan was killed instantly. His passenger, Patricia Roll, rushed to the hospital. That driver was pronounced dead inside the Mitsubishi. Right after that crash, FHP says Lisa Angulo struck the rear corner of the tractor trailer. The impact causing the temporary barrier walls on the tractor trailer to fall in her car and in the roadway. She was killed instantly. The second tractor trailer came along and struck the barrier wall that was in the roadway and then struck the trailer once again. Both drivers of the tractor trailers were not injured. And FHP says miraculously, Patricia Roll, who was riding in the Mitsubishi, was alive when rescue crews responded. She was transported to Memorial Regional Hospital with serious injuries. Yeah, it's amazing she even survived at all, you know, because when you see the car, the way you, the way you saw the car, it's amazing that anybody would have survived out of that car. The crash shut down all southbound lanes of I-75 South between Pines Boulevard and Miramar Parkway until after 8 o'clock Friday morning. The scene cleared, but an investigation is now underway. Authorities looking into how it all happened, were the barriers on the tractor trailer properly strapped, and could the tragedy have been prevented? Meanwhile, at American Heritage School, class of 2015 is now heartbroken, and the high school's principal, Elise Blum, is doing the best she and school officials can to help former and current students cope with the tragedy. Well, this investigation is ongoing, and we're told that Patricia Roll is in serious condition. Stay with 7 News as we continue to follow the investigation. For now, we're live in Hollywood. Lorena Estrada, 7 News. The Florida Highway Patrol is continuing to investigate the four vehicle accident and part of that investigation is whether or not those cement barriers that were on the back of the flatbed of the truck were properly secured. Live in Hollywood tonight, Liz Nagy, 7 News 19.